Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be doing Zentangle with initials and then dividing them up into three sections and doing at least seven or more Zentangle patterns in each of them. So let's get going. How's it going guys? Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be doing Zentangle, as like I said, and um, I'm gonna show you guys this example right here. I don't know why I'm showing you guys the camera over there because there's a top-down camera. I don't know, I'm going crazy. So anyways, um, I don't have any examples for Zentangle here at the moment, but what I can do is post some here and some over here that we guys can see, maybe one in front of my face, and then you can pause the video where this is at right now and see some patterns. So this belongs to an old student from Homestead, and um, I have it because I never got to return it, so it's mine now. With my sketchbook, it's a little bit larger than normal, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to make sure I have a nice border. That way it's nice and clean. So I'm going to go a little bit inwards a little bit, create a line, inwards a little bit, create a line. And what I'm trying to do is try to create a frame. That way I don't have to use the whole entire paper because I am going to be using Sharpie for my project. Uh, for you guys, you don't have to use Sharpie, but for me, I'm going to use Sharpie and I don't want to waste my material. So there it is. There's my border and I'm going to freehand. So instead of using a ruler, to make my lines, I am gonna freehand it with a marker. So let's see how that goes. Let's see, here we go. Whoop! That looks pretty straight. Let's try another one. All right, for the next one, let's go down this way. And the top end. All right, so I have my nice border here, and um, I'm gonna try to divide it into thirds. Um, you can kind of eyeball it if you want. I don't, I have a ruler. So right now it's around 10 and a half. So um, with that said, um, there's no real way I can divide it evenly. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Here I go. I think right here and here is perfect. One right here and one right here. Now, initially when it comes to this project, I normally talk about the difference between serif and sans serif and cursive or bubble letters. And then I make sure that you guys do one of each of them. But for this project, it doesn't matter what kind of initials or type of letters that you do. I just want them to be blocky or bubbly. That way, there's no Zentangle inside the letters at all. I want the Zentangle to be on the outside. Now, if you want to do the reverse, do it on another project. For this project, I want them to be on the outside. So anyways, with that said, um, so if, if you did want to know what Serif and Sans Serif is, I'll have an example of Serif here and an example of Sans Serif right here. And you can see the difference on where the lines end. And uh, yeah, so it was pretty easy. But um, for this project, it could be any initials you want. For me, my last name is Mill, and it's perfect for this project. So I'm gonna do an M right here. I'm gonna do an I in the middle. And I'm gonna do an L in the last one. I should've made the first one a little bit bigger. That's okay, all right, so now I have my initials. Now I wanna divide up the sections into seven separate parts. Now you can do what this person did and kind of just like scattered all the dividing lines in random spots or you can make it nice and organized. So for me, I'm gonna make it nice and organized because I'm weird. So right now I have four sections and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight sections. Perfect. Let's try another one. For this one, why don't I do, actually no, for this one, let me do diagonally. Two. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sections again. Now for this last one, let's just do random lines. Let's see what happens. Woo! There we go. All right. Let me count my sections real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight again. Perfect. Did not plan that at all. So with that said, I have my sections divided in half. I'm gonna use this person's example to get some ideas for Zentangles, but for you, you guys can go back to the time indicated below and you guys can see um, some pattern examples there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some Zentangle patterns and if you wanna fast forward or see the end or go to the end of the video, you can do that. So right now I'm gonna speed up the video and I'm not gonna do pencil, I'm just gonna go straight with marker. So here we go.
Okay, well, I'm all done. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish, but here we are. So here's my Zentangle initial project, and uh, it took me longer than I thought, but I really like the way it turned out. Um, I actually really like it, but it looks cool. I like it when it's black and white. If you want to color it, you can. I've seen people just color the letters. I've seen people just color the Zentangles and leave the letters blank. But I'm just going to leave it black and white. I like it the way it is, and I think it looks really cool. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.